Now, nobody didn't tell me that she ain't had wigs, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. My name is T, okay, TJ in the building. And today, I'm gonna be installing a wig from Shein. Y'all, like, it is 2023. Like, y'all time is flying. But anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying your New Year's thus far. I think we're like two weeks in so far. Um, I've been MIA from YouTube since, I think, before Christmas, y'all. I, I want ghosts. I need a little breaky break. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what 2023 is going to bring. But yeah, enough with the chit chat. All right, guys. So we are here with a wig from Shein. Now, nobody didn't tell me that Shein had wigs, y'all. This is called the Natural Extra Long Curly Synthetic Wig. She's $49. I had a coupon, so it was $44, but right now she's $50. So let's let's see what this $50 wig going to get. So <laughs> this is what she's looking like straight out of the packaging. And it does have a hair net on it, so I'm going to take it off, okay? And you guys can see this is definitely giving body wave. Let me just feel it, okay? And examine what's going on. She's not looking synthetic -y when I'm looking in the monitor, but she's definitely giving me like that synthetic feel. The body waves get a little looser towards the ends, so I don't know if that's going to be a problem. But this is the overall construction. This is a T-part wig, okay? T-part wig is basically where you get a middle part and you get, you know, the lace on the side. You can't pluck it. <laughs> Literally, you're going to have to wear it as is. As you guys can see, it does come with baby hair. So, for those of you wondering, I always use these caps. It's just a mesh black wig cap. I don't do the ball cap method because that just honestly, y'all loud out there. That just honestly pulls out my edges. I ain't got time for that. So I just use this cap. I have about eight braids in total. My braids are busted. So I'm. All right. So, oh, okay. So I like the cap construction on this wig. I feel like it is roomy. It's not too big and it's not too small. So now it's got a little airy, like a little bubble right here. This is the part. This is the part and this is the side. You cannot do no plucking because like if I part into this, it's nothing but tracks. At least they made the center look natural, you know? So that's good. I'm loving the density of it. It's not thick. It's not giving wig. It's giving like she laid, she laid okay not thick Ooh, she gonna be cute okay she's given does she have a little shine on her um probably Y'all can see this lace looks 10 times better once you actually go in and tint it. Should I go in and hot comb it just a little bit? All right, so I put it on level five. And like I said, I just put it on the lowest heat and set because I'm just trying to push everything back into the hairline. So that way when I lay it down, girl, um, it, nothing won't be in the way. I really love how they constructed this frontal portion. It looks so, look at that, y'all look laid. Just doing a little bit. I'm not adding no wax. One thing about me, if my hair ain't done, I ain't going, okay? So don't ask me to go nowhere with you if my hair ain't dead. But now I'm just cutting out the leaves. I'm creating jagged edges. I'm gonna try to get fairly close. But yeah, like I said, <laughs> I ain't going nowhere without my hair dead. So y'all, one time, <laughs> this is a quick little story time. You know, I, I remember going to church one time. I, this was back in the day, it was a long time ago. But I used to wear like colorful wigs to church, colorful synthetic wigs. And it was like, um, it was like a gray wig. And he, out of nowhere, as soon as I walked in, cause I came in late anyway. <laughs> as soon as I walked in, he wanted to start preaching on makeup, makeup and wigs. I'm coming from somewhere else, granted. Y'all, this is my ego speaking. I'm like, bro, 
you are lucky I don't want to embarrass my mama today. But now I'm just going to go ahead and scoot it back and go ahead and secure it down. So I like to put the product before my actual hairline, but I'm going to just spray a thin line right there and just push it back into my hairline. And I just use my finger to push the product in. And if any hair got in the way, I just use the end of my comb and just pull it out. So I'm gonna go in with one more thin layer over here, like this. Now I'm gonna take my blow dryer on a cool heating setting and I'm gonna wait till it gets tacky. Okay, so I do tap it to make sure it is tacky. And if like your finger's getting stuck, girl, go ahead and lay that down. But if your finger can come off of it easily, then you need to add a little bit more heat. But yeah, I'm gonna make sure it's centered to the best of my ability and align that wig where I place the product. I don't know, I just never liked the ball cap method because I always could see the stocking through it. So it was just like, girl, I do not care about that method, you know? I didn't see it making a, a huge difference to me, okay? And that's just to me. If you like doing the ball cap method, I'm not saying stop doing it. There's plenty of people who have done so and they have not lost no edges, but the ball cap method is not for me and my edges. That's just what it is. And that's all that. Yeah, whatever works for you, do that. But I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing on this side as well. And you can literally wipe your makeup off around this area. I just don't. I should because it kind of makes a mess. So yeah, I'm gonna put my little clip somewhere. So I get these bins off of Amazon. I need to get some more, to be honest. But I'm gonna use, even though they're dirty, I probably, I'm sure you probably can just wash them. Can you? Yeah, you should be able to. But I just need to get me some more. All right, we gonna take. <laughs> I said we gonna take this off. This bin say let me up off of here. But <laughs> if you do not like baby hairs, this is you. This is your. This is your sign to go ahead and get the step in. You just got, you know, fix it on up and get out the door. But yeah, I'm just gonna take my hot comb and I'm gonna try to bump this. Ooh. And one thing about me, I'm gonna wear me a synthetic wig. I don't care what nobody says, okay? That's just me, because it would be a lot of people where I can't stand, I don't like. Girl, go on the virgin hair side. I just don't understand y'all. Y'all would sit there and watch a whole dang on video saying y'all don't like uh, synthetic hair, but y'all steady watching. Like that makes no sense. I'm gonna tell you something, my hairspray though, and try to like get it to stay up there. This hairspray be hairspraying, y'all. That's Sebastian. Ah! Thought it was sizzling up there. But my girls who don't like baby hairs, this is this is you. Just you know, do the little bump, fix your part. Let me do my part real quick. But I'm using my Cream Kisses foundation, and I'm using the light and dark shade. I just be mixing them two together. But normally I just use that one by itself. And I use the Ingo brush, and this is the Morphe M16. Darn, I should have tried to straighten up the part, bro. It's just this air pocket. It's just like a, let me see if I can just smash that down with my comb. Oh yeah, I just smashed it down with my comb. It is stay down, y'all.
So this is what she's looking um, like right now. She is a little bit poofy, you know, like um, in here. It's getting like messy. Um, I'm just using a bit, a little bit of my ORS olive oil um, wrap set, wrap set, whatever it's called. Just a little bit to, you know, push down any hairs that came out of place. And also, you know, we're trying to get everything back cohesive. Um, like I said, this does feel like a synthetic wig. I'm not gonna lie. It don't look like a synthetic wig, but it, girl, it feel like one. Well, this is how long it is. I, this is what she is given. This is how she turns out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I will give you guys an update on how she lasts. It's probably gonna tangle. I ain't even gonna front y'all. It's probably gonna tangle. But overall, y'all, this unit is bomb. Nobody can tell me nothing. I don't care what your mama, nobody else say. This unit is popping and for $50. This unit is definitely giving me Bobby Boss vibes. I did a unit like this a couple years ago, and it's definitely giving me that vibe. So, yeah. So, that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys in my next one. I will see you later. Bye, guys.